One of the parties, well, it's made a flash. It certainly has had some media coverage because it's been involved in marches and things and tends to drive the woke mainstream media completely crazy is the Freedoms New Zealand Umbrella Party, which, of course, is a merging of a number of, of parties, including the Outdoors Recreation Party, led by Sue Gray, and Hana Tamaki's Vision New Zealand Party. The leader of Freedoms New Zealand, or the co-leader along with Sue Gray, is uh, self-styled Bishop Brian Tamaki from Destiny Church. Uh, and he joins us for a kind of election um, campaign wrap-up by video link now. Brian, uh, nice to see you. Welcome to the platform. Thank you for the compliment of being a self-styling bishop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, how am I meant to <laughs> describe you? You haven't been ordained uh, by the Pope. I have been ordained, though. <laughs> Who by? Who by? The, the Apostolic Church of New Zealand, which has been around for 70 years. Oh, gosh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Well, and who well, runs that? A lot of things people don't know. It's it's in New Zealand. It's set up. It's the tenets of faith are the same as where I've, I'm from, the Methodist Church of New Zealand. So it's all all above board. Okay, but, um, so not self-styled. I stand corrected, and, and you have my apologies. I withdraw an apology. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> Brian, let's be honest about the yeah. polls that have come out. We've had the last major yeah. polls out. Um You've got to realise well, that free, Freedoms New Zealand isn't going to get into Parliament, right? Well, not unless um, it's a miracle that comes out of the middle of the blue sky. And I guess you'd <laughs> say you do have the inside running on miracles, wouldn't you? Um. Uh, well, I think we need some right now because our world's in trouble, isn't it? Mm. And, it's a, and it's a religious war. But going back to your answer, uh, your question, it's funny that News Hub Nation had a different poll to... Um, news, one news. Yeah, they both one had them crash and the other one had a different poll again. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think you could safely say we're probably going to get a coalition of chaos. People that don't like each other will actually near hate each other. And that looks like it's going to be ACT, um, National, and Winston is somehow blew his way in the middle of it. So, but, but, but I'm surprised you attack that because the truth is they probably are more in line with what views you do have than Who's the other that? lot. Well, even if you call it a coalition of chaos, National Act and, and, and New Zealand First are more politically and philosophically aligned with your position than Labor, the Greens and the Maori Party, right? Well, actually, probably they're more centre-left, I'd say now, National. Yeah. I'd say Act is definitely left. Um, Winston is just riding whatever... The, the votes, wherever the wave of votes are coming from, wherever the wind's blown, Winston just changes. I think he's a puppet, actually. Behind the scenes, he's driven by some certain uh, characters um, who are strategists and also uh, people from different groups, and he's just done it. He's gathered the votes. They've used him. But um, I can forecast problems for New Zealand in the next three years if that's the case. So, you know, take your pick. Mm. Look, at the stage of the campaign, Brian, um, yeah. why don't you tell the people who might otherwise party vote for you or for Freedoms New Zealand, why don't you look at who you do like who is going to get into Parliament and give them a shot in the arm by saying, look, guys, okay. our supporters should go and vote for this particular party. Well, unfortunately for me, I'm a man of... Um conscience i've got a heart and i have values if i was honest with you i could not actually endorse any one of those three leaders seymour luxon or peters because one they don't carry my values my deeper values and i'm being honest that's the judeo-christian e ethic um they're flip floppers um proven histories of breaking promises and untrustworthy and for Luxton, he's weak. He says he's a Christian, but he's, he's not. His walk doesn't match his talk. And Seymour's gone more left. And Winston has just gathered a group of different people who want to push agendas through through the one man that's made himself available when he should be enjoying his own gold card status. So um, 
you take your pick. So I can't, with a good conscience, I'll go to sleep all right after the 14th because I have voted on my values. Mm. And you gave it a That's crack. Why you gave it a crack and we have a democracy where you're allowed to give it a crack, no matter how yep. big or small or your support is. You've been down this road before, Brian. I hate to think... No, I, you know, well, you've, 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 you know, you've, you've dabbled in politics before. What happens to Freedoms I, New Zealand after this election? Yeah, good. Well, I, that's right. You're right. I haven't dabbled. I've stood for minority, well, a group of disadvantaged, mainly Māori families, and I've had governments that had no idea how to, how to do all this, and that's why I had to push on to politics. But um, actually... I'm finding everywhere I go that people are coming up and saying, I'm voting for you, Freedoms New Zealand. I'm yeah, but more, you know, I'm, I know, I'm, I know, because yeah, people know. tell you what they I want to but you know, you've already admitted you're not getting in there, Brian. Well, of course we're not, but I'm, what I'm saying is, you would know, I, I'm a strategist and I've, I'm already thinking 2026, 20, and that this time we will not be on the losing end. Um, we've just got strength. I've learned a lot since I've been in this world and we have 35 candidates have come back to Vision New Zealand and to Outdoor and Freedoms Party and Rock the Vote and RTL as it said, we're committed for the next three years to definitely this time not be the tail, we will win. Yeah. And so that's a big commitment and there's some fairly um, uh, well healed, um, I guess you can say candidates. Uh, very good. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is our first time. This is I, our first time. 